Hello and welcome to our Kids Church service for today. Wherever you're joining us from, whether that's from somewhere in Chilwell Parish or even further afield, it is great to have you with us. We're continuing today in our series in the life of Joseph and we have the concluding part where famine comes and hits the land and we find out what happens to Joseph and to his family, but more on that later. But for now, we're going to begin as we always do. So jump up wherever you are, put down your breakfast or whatever else you've got and really stretch both children and grown-ups. Stretch your arms and wiggle your fingers and stretch them out front and really, really, really wiggle your fingers and then stretch your legs and wiggle your toes. I promise that I'm doing that. You just can't see it because we're going to begin by singing and dancing and doing actions in worship to God. Our first song today is Big Family of God. And it's great today to have family as part of our theme, what it is to be part of God's family, that even though we don't live in the same houses, that we are all part of that big family together. If you don't know the actions, then I'm going to put a link to um, an actions version of the song in the YouTube description. So do check that out. But otherwise, let's jump up and let's worship together.
So, Flora, you wanted to talk to me about buying some things using my Amazon account. Is that right? Now, I had a look at the things that are on the screen on the laptop and I'm a bit concerned because you seem to have a whoopee cushion, some itching powder and some really odd sweets that turn your mouth blue. Now, why do you want those? You want them to play tricks on Frankie. And you want them to tri play tricks on Frankie because he was unkind to you last week. Now, I don't think that's a very good idea because it just... It will just become you doing something to him and him something to you over and over and over again. And actually somebody at some point is going to get hurt or get really, really upset. Now that doesn't sound great, does it? But actually, um, we can learn something from our story today because our story is all about what does Joseph do when his brothers turn up? Does he behave to them how, how they behave to him? that they were so unkind to him. Do you remember that they put him down the hole and then they sold him to the traders? Um, and then they told um, their dad that Joseph was dead. Do you remember that, Flora? Well, today's story, we have the conclusion of Joseph's story. What happens when the famine hits the land and Joseph's brothers and his dad are hungry? What happens then and how does Joseph react? So we're going to hear all about that now in our story that is read to us this week by Hilary and Jude and Edward and Abigail. So shall we go and see their story, Flora? Should we do that? Joseph helps his family. Joseph's brothers were very oh. hungry. Their tummies were rumbling. They had no corn left to make into bread. Then their father had an idea. Here's some money, he said. I've heard you can still buy corn in Egypt. The brothers went to see an important man who looked after the barns. Please sell us some of your corn, they said. We are all very, very hungry. It was a big surprise when the man invited them to a wonderful meal at his house. Don't you remember me? The man asked. I am your brother, Joseph. How's dad? The brothers were frightened because they had been so unkind to Joseph. But Joseph was really pleased to see his family again. It's all right, he told them. I'm sure God planned this to happen so that I could look after you all. Come and live with me in Egypt. There's lots of food here. And that is what they did. God had helped Joseph to help his family. In Egypt, the brothers So Flora, wasn't our story beautifully read and signed for us today? There is so much going on in the story, but basically what happens 
is that Joseph's family are hungry because, as I said earlier, there's no food in the land. And so they go to Egypt because they hear, they hear that there has been food saved up there, that there is food there in Egypt. So they travel there, but they don't know that Joseph is there. And they go and Joseph recognises them and he has a choice. He either could choose to be mean and nasty to them as they had been to him or he could put them in prison, or he could forgive them. And that's what he does, Flora, he forgives them. And not only does he forgive his brothers for what they've done, he invites them to come and live in Egypt with him where they could be looked after. So that's the end of our story, that God uses Joseph to look after not just his family, but the whole of Egypt that God had a plan for Joseph's life and we see it played out in that story. Now for us individually, we might not today be thinking about um, needing to go to Egypt to find food for our family, but we might need to do something about forgiving somebody. We might need to forgive somebody who has hurt us. We might need to not treat them how they have treated us. So Flora, I'm really sorry, but I'm not going to let you buy the itching powder and the whoopee cushions and the blue mouth sweets because I'm not sure that that is the answer. I think the answer is to forgive Frankie and not just to forgive him, but to treat him really well, to love him as your brother. Jesus talks about forgiveness and says that forgiveness is just so, so important. And I would say that not forgiving somebody who's hurt us, that it hurts us more than it hurts the person. And it's really important that we forgive, not just sort of forgive, but keep bringing it up, but to forgive them um, and to love them as God has loved us. So today, Lucy um, is going to have some help with her craft from Alex, from her brother, because we've been talking all about family. And I think they're going to do some baking. So should we go, Flora, and see what they've been doing? Hello, my name is Lucy. And today I'm going to be baking with my brother Alex. We are going to make Biscuit Joseph's. If you don't want to do baking today, you might want to print out the template in the description or draw your own outline and design your own gingerbread men. Or you could buy a gingerbread man kit from the supermarket, like this one. Before we start baking, we need to do a number of things. First, if we have long hair like Lucy, Tie it back. Next, if you have one, put on your apron. Make sure your work area is clean and tidy. Finally, wash your hands properly with soap and water. You are, you are now, now ready, ready to, to bake. bake. Recipes for dough for our biscuits will be at the end of our video. You can make gingerbread or a shortbread type of dough. We are going to use shortbread dough made with dairy free spread because Lucy is allergic to milk. You could use butter. Follow the instructions for your written recipe. Because this is meant to be Joseph, we need to give him a multicoloured coat. 
You could use hundreds and thousands of multicolored fizzy belts like these. Glue them on with icing or chocolate. We have finished our craft for today. Alex, did you enjoy helping me with my craft? Yeah. And have you enjoyed looking at the series through Joseph's life? Yeah. What do you think we've learned? That God is always with us. He gives us the right gifts at the right time. And that we can learn and forgive and treat those who have hurt us better than they treated us. And that family is important. Our men are nearly out of the oven, ready for us to decorate. We would love to see your pictures. Have a great week. Bye. Bye. Alex? Yeah? Why does yours got massive eyes? Uh, why does yours? Uh, I don't know. why Brad is so thoughtful. It's always willing to help a friend in need. <laughs> what did the green pepper say to the jalapeno? Wow, you look hot. <laughs> Where do belly buttons go to school? The Naval Academy. I say have a great birthday. We send you wishes and kisses. It's your big day. Do it your own way. Be lazy. Go crazy. 
this is not a jest. We wish you the best. And all you need, may your dreams come true. Have a clap, 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 floppy. A clap, 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 floppy. A half, 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 birthday. Say goodbye, rubber ducky. Our second song for today is a song that a number of weeks ago we learnt the signs for. Wonderful Lord, Wonderful God, and it's definitely one of my favourites. Now, there's going to be a really big version of this song put together um, from people all across the country. And details of how you can be involved in that um, will follow at the end of the service in one of the notice slides. Or do get in touch with me. But before we sing and worship together this morning, a number of you have asked me again to show you the signs. So here they are. Wonderful Lord, wonderful God, you are my shield, my protector. I can lie down, go off to sleep, knowing you're watching over me. Wonderful Lord, wonderful God, help me to trust you forever. I need not fear, for you are near. I can lie down and sleep in peace. Wonderful Lord, wonderful God, you are my shield, my protector. I can lie down, go off to sleep, knowing you're watching over me. Wonderful Lord, wonderful God, help me to trust you forever. I need not fear, cause you are near, I can lie down and sleep. Wonderful Lord, wonderful God, you are my shield, my protector. I can lie down, go off to sleep, knowing you're watching over me. Wonderful Lord, wonderful God, help me to trust you forever. I need not fear, cause you are near, I can lie down and sleep.
So, Lucy, Frankie and Flora, have we been busy today? Yeah. We have, haven't we? And Lucy, are these what you and Alex made together in your make and do time today? Yes. These look fabulous. Do they look good, Frankie? I think we should have some of these later. A few notices before we end today. So firstly, as I've already mentioned, um, that there is the big um, Wonderful Lord, Wonderful God um, song that's going to be put together. The details for that will be at the end of the service today in a slide. But also, if you want to know any more details, then do feel free to get in touch with me. We're going to be having, as was announced last week, there's going to be a summer reading challenge, Bible reading challenge. And we would really, really love to be able to give you a copy of the notes for that and a Bible, but also some craft materials that you can use through the summer services. You are going to need to register for that. So you're going to need to be in touch with me to put your name down so that we can get those ready for you. Um, so if you would like one of those, then do be in touch and I'll pop your name on the list. The next notice is that at the end of July, the last weekend of July, um, we are as a church going to be um, involved with the new wine at home, United Breaks Out. There are going to be various things going on. And again, that we will give you more details for those. But do get those, that, those dates in your diary. So as we end our service today, let's just pray together. Shall we pray? Yeah. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you were with Joseph. And in the same way that you are with us too. Help us to forgive others when they have hurt us. Help us treat people better than they treat us, whether that's good or bad. Help us to listen to you and to hear your voice as you speak to us and you lead us. So Lord, I just pray that this week, wherever you take us, that you would equip us and lead us and guide us. We pray. Amen. So, Flora, are you going to have a good week? You're not going to play any tricks on your brother? No. Um, and what about you, Lucy? You're not going to play any tricks on your brother either, are you? No. No, you're not sure, but no, you're not. And Frankie, are you going to have a good week? Great. Um, we hope that you have a good week too. We look forward to seeing you soon. But until then, bye for now. So Lucy, do you want you want one of those? You have one of those. And and uh, are you a head man or an, an arm man, Frankie? Head, lovely. And what about you, Flora? You can have some of that. Great. Um, I think I might bite off his leg. <laughs>